What is the most damaging greenhouse gas? Your first thought might be carbon dioxide, CFCs, or maybe even methane. While these are bad, in terms of impact per molecule, these gases pale in comparison to the destructive power of sulfur hexafluoride. Sulfur hexafluoride, or SF6, has a global warming potential of nearly 24,000 times that of CO2. So what is sulfur hexafluoride anyway? Sulfur hexafluoride is a synthetic gas widely used as an electrical insulator to prevent arcs and short circuits in high voltage environments. To find out why it is used so widely, we need to look at the chemistry behind this compound. In a molecule of SF6, each of the six outer bonding electrons from the sulfur atom are bonded to a fluorine atom, making it very stable and unreactive. However, each fluorine atom has a very high electronegativity, meaning the electrons in the sulfur-fluorine bond have a tendency to stay closer to the fluorine. This gives a higher distribution of negative charge on each of the fluorine atoms. But this polarity is offset by the symmetry of the molecule, meaning the vector sum in each direction is net zero. So the overall nonpolar nature reduces the ability of each molecule to interact with other neighboring molecules, resulting in a very stable and unreactive gas. This combined with its high density compared to that of the air makes it perfect for its use in the electrical industry. When a gas such as air, which normally acts as an insulator, is subjected to a high voltage, it can break down, resulting in a discharge of electricity. This discharge, known as an electric arc, is common in high voltage environments, like wind turbines, substations and power stations, and has the potential to destroy equipment and cause fires. As we've just seen, SF6 is very stable, and because of the tightly bound nature of the electrons, current cannot flow easily through, even under very high voltage, with each molecule essentially acting as a block to current. This high density means there are many of these individual blocks to current. So why is it such a bad greenhouse gas? When a monatomic gas absorbs energy, it increases velocity. When certain polyatomic gases, like SF6, absorb energy, they increase velocity and some atoms within the molecule vibrate. This ability to vibrate allows molecules to absorb extra energy, namely infrared radiation from the sun reflected by the earth back into space. When SF6 leaks and enters the atmosphere, it absorbs this infrared energy, vibrates temporarily, and then re-emits it. Some of this is emitted into space, some absorbed by other molecules in the atmosphere, and the rest is re-emitted back down to Earth, meaning there is extra energy trapped in the atmosphere. But as we've seen earlier, SF6 is a synthetic and very unreactive, so each molecule will stay in the atmosphere for much longer than most other greenhouse gases, living in the atmosphere for up to 3,000 years. The good news is, there is very little SF6 in the atmosphere compared to CO2, and SF6 is only really a problem when it leaks. If designed and built properly, the level of leaking in electrical equipment should be kept to a minimum. It should also be said that because SF6 is such an effective insulator, it has allowed electric connections to become smaller and smaller, allowing for much more installed electric capacity, including the big numbers of wind turbine installations we've seen in recent years. I hope you liked that video. If you like it, there's more content like it every week, so be sure to stay tuned. Thanks for watching.